Hello, Mim. Good afternoon. Good afternoon, Mim. <clears throat> Yes, okay, can you hear me well? No. Okay, I cannot hear you. Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Yes. Yes? Or yes. no? Yes. Please wait me a bit. I will enter again in Zoom in, okay? Can you hear me? Oh. Yes. Hello. Can you hear me, Min? Yes. Yes. Okay, I'm sorry, cause you know I forgot to wear my headset. <laughs> yes. Okay. <clears throat> How are you today? How are you today? Yes, me. Thank you for asking. Teacher AM is fine today. What about you? How are you today, Min? I'm fine. You're fine. Okay, that's nice. Okay, so did you sleep today? No. I watched a computer. What did you what did you say? I watched a computer. You're watching a computer? Yes. Okay. So, what did you do on your computer? What did you do on your computer, Min? Oh, Papa. What's Papa? You mean your dad? You mean your dad? I don't know. Okay. Okay, so how about the weather in your place? What's the weather in your place right now, Min? It's sunny. Wow, it's sunny. That's nice because, you know, here in my place, it's raining. It's completely opposite of your weather. Okay, so now, Min, are you ready to learn? Yes. Yes. Okay, so now let's learn. Let's continue learning in Unit 20 entitled Alex. Ben and Kim live here. Okay, so last time we discussed, uh, wait me a little bit. Okay, this one. Wait. Mm -hmm. Okay, so last time we discussed about a tick and a cross. Okay, when you say tick, it looks like this one. When you say cross, it looks like this. Okay, Min? Okay, so what is tick? Can you please write tick? What is a tick mean? A tick means yes. Okay, can you please write tick? Konang. What is konang? What is konang in English mean? <clears throat> Sunny. Ah, okay. So, thanks for sharing that one. Today is Konang. Today is sunny. Is that right? Yes. Okay. So, now, Min, what is a tick? What does it mean when we say tick? This means yes. Okay. What about a cross? What is the meaning of cross? This means... What is the meaning of cross? Yes, very good. Can you please say a tick means yes and a cross means? Yes. No. Okay, a cross means no. Very good. Okay, so now, Min, um, let's just have a quick review. Okay, so is this a door? Can you look at the screen? Is this a door? Is this a door? Can you look at this one? Is this a door? Yes or no? Yes. Is this a door? Yes. Okay, this is oh, no, not no, 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 no. a door. 
This is a... a kitchen. A kitchen? Are you window. sure? You say this is a window. Window. Yes, it's a window. Very good. Okay, so now, Min, how about this one? It's a car. Yes, this is a car. What color is the car? What color is the car? What color is the car, Min? What color is the car? What is the color of the car? It's red. It's red. Very good. You say the car is color red. The car is color red. Great job. Okay, so now, mean here in this one, you're gonna put tick if it is uh, I O. Oh, I think we're done with this one. Is that right? Okay. Okay, so this one, we're done with this also. Oh, what is your kitchen? What did you say? Question time. Yes, this is question time. Are there pictures on the wall in your living room? Can you see pictures on the wall in your living room? Yes or no? I don't know. Okay, a tick. Wow, very good because you were able to put a tick. Okay, kindly look at your living room. Can you see any pictures hanging on the wall? Can you see any pictures hanging on the wall? Yes or no? No. Are there photo on the wall in your living room? No. No, there aren't. Okay, how about a television? Can you see a television in your living room? Hello, Min. Can you see a television inside your living room? Yes. Yes. Okay. How many television are there? How many television are there? Yes. How many television? One. One. There is only one. Okay. How about this one? Can you please read? Your sofa which you in your living room. Yes, is there a sofa in your living room? One chair is cross. Wait, wait, oh. wait. Is there a sofa in your living room? Yes. Okay, you say yes, there are. Yes, there are. How about armchairs? Can you see armchairs in your living room? Can you see armchairs in your living room? Yes or no? Hello, Min. No. Okay. Can you see armchairs in your living room? No. No. Okay. So thank you for answering my question, Min. So kindly look at the picture of the house. A family lives here. So there are two children in the family, which is a boy and a girl. Okay. So how many people can you see? How many people can you see in the picture, Min? All people. How many people there are? All people. Very good. How many children can you see? There's two children. Very good. What about the grown-ups? How many grown-ups can you see? I don't know. When you say grown-ups, 
That's mean, that means adult. How many adults can you see? Adult, I don't know. Okay, so here we can see two adults, mom and dad. Adults mean old people. Do you understand? Yes. Okay, so what is the meaning of adults? This means you say old people. Old people. Yes. Okay, so now, mean you imagine more information about this house. Okay, so what's the name of this street? You will be the one to create. There's no wrong or correct answer here. What's the name of this street mean? You imagine that you live here. So what is the name of this street? Hello, Min. Yes. Okay, so what's the name of this street? Yes. Can you please say that one? What is the name of this street? It's... Green. Yes, very good. It's happy or green. What about the number? What is the number of their house? What's the number of their house? Not a number. There's no number? Okay, so just give me any number. Just give me any number, Min. Let me see. 13, 4, or 5. Very good. Can you please say it again? The number of their house. The number of their house. Is. Is. 13, four, five. Very good. That is correct. Okay. So, what's the boy's name? Uh, it's Tony. Tony. How old is he? He's 10. 10. Very good. What's the girl's name? I don't know. Okay, can you please create a name for a girl? Uh, I don't know. What's the girl's name? I okay. don't know. This one is what we call Nancy or Linda. How old is Nancy? This girl. How old is Aunt Nancy? Oh, seven. It's a six-year-old. Okay, very good. So, can you see any animals in their house? Not an animal. Okay. We have, we can say dog, cat, or bird. Bird animals live with this family. Or there's no animals live with this family. Okay, so now, man. Thank you for answering all my questions. What about you? What's the name of your street? Okay, so let me ask you this one. What is your name? Okay, great. How old are you, Tong Haimin? How old are you? Six years old. You say, I am six years old. I am six years old. Very good. Okay, what's the name of your street? What's the name of your street? Dong Lam. Okay, you say, I live in Dong Lam Street. Can you please repeat? 
You say, I live in Dong Lam Street. Very good. Okay, so what number is your house? What is that? It's? Eight zero eight. Okay, you say, the number of my house is 808. The number of my house is 808. Very good. Okay, so how many people are there in your family? Four. Okay, you say there are? There are one family and four people. Very good. I live in one family, and in our family, there are four people. Okay, so now, Min, kindly look at the children below. How many children can you see? There's four children. You say, there are? There are four children. Very good. Kindly look at the first child. What is the color of her? Um, dress. Is brown. Dress. Her dress. dress. Is pink. Very good. What about its skirt? Skirt. Is yellow. Okay. It's blue. Okay. So, what about its feet? What is the color of his shoes? Of her shoes. Yeah, what's the color of her shoes? It's pink. It's pink. Very good. Okay, so now let's take a look at the boys. What are the color of the boys' t-shirt? Yellow. Yellow and? Yellow and green. Okay. What about the other boy? What is the color of her, of his t-shirt? It's yellow. It's yellow, blue, and? It's yellow, blue. What about its short? What's the color of his short? I don't know. Okay, this one is orange, your favorite color. Okay, so how many girls are there? It's zero girls. Are you sure? Uh, yes. Okay, there are? There are two girls. Very good. What about the boys? How many boys can you see? It's a four Four, are you sure? It's a two. Okay, you say there are two boys. There are two boys. Very good. Okay, so now me and lastly, let's take a look at this girl. What is the color of his dress, of her dress? It's yellow. It's a blue. You say it's purple. Yeah, purple. Okay, what about its shoes? What's the color of her shoes? Pink. Very good. Great job. Thank you for answering my questions, Min. So here, you're going to listen and color. Okay, so how many trees are there in the picture? Can you please count how many trees? Seven trees. Yes. There are seven trees. Okay, so now, Min, you're going to listen to the audio, then you color, okay? 20D. Alex, Ben, and Kim live here. Look at the picture. Listen and look. There is one example. Look at the flats in this street. Can you see the tree behind the number 10 flats? Yes, 
I can. Great. Colour the tree behind those flats red, please. Red? Yes, that's right. Can you see the red tree behind the number 10 flats? This is an example. Now you listen and colour. 1. Colour the tree on the lorry now. Pardon? Colour the tree on the lorry. OK. Can I colour it yellow? Yellow? Yes. Thank you. 2. There's a tree in front of the... Oh, yes. Can I colour the tree in front of the bookshop blue? Yes, you can. Thanks. There. It's blue now. Good. Three. I can see a tree in the street. Can I colour that one now? Yes. Make it orange. Make the tree in the street orange? Yes, that's right. 4. And there's a tree next to the clock. Yes, that's a funny tree. I've got a purple pencil. Can I colour it purple? OK. Right. I'm colouring the tree next to the clock now. 5. Now, the tree in the park. It's behind the water. Can you see it? Yes, I can. What colour is that tree? It's green. Have you got a green pencil? Yes, I have. I'm colouring it. OK, there. great job, Green. Great. So now let's check your answers. Wow, you got a perfect score. Very good. OK, so now, Min, I think we're done with this one. So let's proceed here in part F. You're going to write five questions. OK, for example, is your garden big or small? OK, so... For the four question, I want you to write it here. So what would be your question to me, Min? I'm not a garden. What did you say? I'm not, I'm not a garden. You're not a? Garden. What is gravel? What is gravel? Garden. G-A-R-G-E-N G-E-R 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 Jurgen, you're not a Jurgen. What is Jurgen? G-E-R Here Ah, you don't have a garden. Okay, so now I want you to write a question. Okay, so this one is just an example. Is your garden big or small? Okay, so this is just an example, Min. So what would be your other question to me? What's, you write it here. You write uh, a question here. I do not a question. No, 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 no. You're going to write a question. Because here in part F, this is writing a question, okay? For example, let me put it here. What is your name? Let me write. What is your name? Okay, so this is one question. What about the last third question? Do you, what is your question mean? 
Can you please write it down? No. You're not going to answer the question. You will write your own question here. Okay, can you please write your question? What would be your question mean? Okay, so this time, this R, um, ooh, so oh, this would be, okay, so let's write this question. We have, how old, old are you? Okay, so this time in, I'll be the one to give you the question. Then you write it down. Okay, do you understand? Yes. Okay. For the next question, where do you live? Can you please write it down? Where do you live? Can you please write it down, Min? Where do you live? Where do you live? Can you please write it here? Okay, so where do you live? You write it here. Where do you live? Do you know how to write mean? Okay, can you please write where do you live? W H W H Okay, can you please write me in W H E R E Okay, so let me write it here Where Do You Live. Okay. So my last question is this one. Wait me a bit. It's like this. What is your favorite color? Yes. What is your favorite color? I want to go to the toilet. Ah, yes, you can go to the toilet.
Hello, Min. Yes, okay, so you're now back now. <coughs> okay, so this time you're going to answer my question Is your garden big or small? What is your name? How old are you? Where's Where do you live? <coughs> then what is your favorite is color? Favorite color? Okay, so those are examples of writing a question. Okay, so now mean you're going to write five senten sentences answering five questions in activity F. Okay, so what is your name? Can you please write? Okay, you say, my name is Tong Hyman. How old are you? Six years old. You say, I am? I am six years old. Okay, great. Where do you live? Where do you live, Min? 
Tower. Where do you live? I don't know. Okay, I live in um, uh, Vietnam. I live in the Vietnam. Okay, so what is your favorite color? Orange. It, you say my favorite color. My favorite color is orange. Okay, very good. So thank you for answering my question, Min. So before we end, let's sing this thank you and goodbye song. Bye, bye, goodbye. I can clap my hands I can stamp my feet I can clap my hands I can stamp my feet Bye bye goodbye Bye 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 goodbye Bye bye So thank you so much for joining my class today, Min. Um, for your homework, please review. You listen to teacher first. Please review our lesson because on Monday, we will have our regular test. Okay? Don't forget to review our lesson because we will have our regular test on Monday. Okay, so bye for now, Min. See you on Monday. Have a... Great weekend. Bye-bye.